This video is going to get real chatty real quick. Hi guys, back with another video. As you can probably tell by the title, we are less than a week in and I already have a planner dilemma. So if you want to hear about the three planners in question, then just keep on watching. So you guys have been on my planner journey from Erin Condren to, what did I go to after that? Oh, an A6 Stalogy to, or Stalogy, however you pronounce it, to an A6 Rings, to introducing a journal, to going back to an Erin Condren, to making a monthly layout in an Erin Condren notebook. It's just, it's been all over. And for 2022, when I filmed my planner lineup, you know, things were already in question. I was so set on what I was using for 2023 back in like July, August, and then things took a turn and now things is taking another turn. So let's, let's chat about it. This is going to be very, very chatty. I wanted to film this video just because, you know, I feel like as we get into the year, we kind of reevaluate our planner system, our planner lineups, our planner stacks, whatever you want to call it. And mine just so happened to happen less than a week into the new year. So I'm just filming this. If you're in a planner dilemma, if things aren't working for you, it's okay to switch. My biggest issue and that makes, or what makes it hard to switch is the money that I had spent on all three of these planners thinking that it was going to be my lineup and now possibly not. So that's where my dilemma comes in. I'm on this journey of simplifying everything, not only with planners, but in my house, in my life. I have decluttered so much. I've gotten rid of so many things. I have less decor up. I'm just on this like not minimalistic journey, but having less looking clutter in the house. So I've been keeping, you know, entertainment centers clean and clear with minimal stuff, the kitchen counters clear, taking things off of the wall so it doesn't look so cluttered. And with that journey, I had to learn to let things go of the thing or let go of the things that I've spent money on and just move forward so that I can be happier in the space that I'm in. I haven't gotten there with the planners yet. That's why I still have three sitting here. Sorry if you can hear my printer in the background. I haven't gotten to the point of letting go the money that I spent on them and just moving forward. I will get there soon because I really think I've thought about it and I just need to simplify. So what I'm simplifying, not quite yet, but I am leaning towards simplifying is my Hobonichi cousin will replace the use of these two planners, which is absolutely crazy to me. To even think about, I kind of put myself in this dilemma by testing out a memory spread in here, but let's get into what I have been doing. I have been using every single one of these every single day for this past year. Okay, it's only January 5th. But I have been using every single one. I've been writing in every single one. And I know at some point I'm going to get burnt out. And I, I don't want that to happen. So before me getting burnt out, I just kind of want to switch up my planning system. I love this planner. And I'm really sad that I don't think I'll be using it. I love this cover. I love how I set it up. But anyways, let's start with Erin Condren. I have not filmed anything yet. Because I've been in this planner dilemma, planner funk, I didn't want to film until I kind of knew what I was doing. Because I was getting not flustered with myself because like I said, I've been filling out every single one every day and it's been fine, but I know burnout is coming real soon. So let's go into this. I didn't just, or I decided not to fill out this week in this planner. I kept it in my 2022 planner and this is how the current week is turning out. I love it. I do love the Erin Condren. I know exactly how I like to plan in it. It's been working, but on the mission of trying to simplify things, I did this in my Hobonichi cousin. So anyways, this is how the week is turning out. Like I mentioned, I didn't film it. I'm using a kit or an old kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. I think this was last year. What's good about her Happy New Year kit? It's not dated so I could use it for this year and I really do enjoy how this week is turning out. Nothing against Erin Condren or you know planning. I did this for the past year and I loved it but that's how that this week current week is turning out. Like I said it's currently the fifth. My kid just went back to school today. It's crazy. So if you watched my planner lineup, I introduced this planner is what I was going to be using as my personal journal because I felt like the Hobonichi Cousin would be too much space and I would fall off again. So once I started seeing reviews on the B6 Common Planner, I was like, perfect. It 
it's smaller, I can I can do this. And so I have dove into it. I am using the monthly as my, I guess, highlights section. I've just been putting like either one or two words as a sentence and yeah, it's my highlight for the day. Everything that kind of happened for the day. I can go into my weekly section. What I loved about this planner is that it is broken down from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. Yeah, 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. And that is exactly my day. I wake up at like 5.30, 5.45, get going at 6, and I usually try to get to bed at 12 because my body only likes about five to six hours of sleep. Anything more, anything less, I either get a headache or feel like I've overslept. So six to midnight, it's broken up into half an hour increments. And what I was using this for is just jotting down what I did each day, what time I did it. And I don't know, it's just very simple. It's like a journal of the day, but in the order of which things happened. And I have been loving it. I really have, especially because it's broken down in the hours that I need. I'm not gonna flip to my daily section. What I have been using the dailies for is what happened for the day, but elaborating on that in a non-personal way, if that makes sense. So I have been using that, this one every single day, as well as my Hobonichi cousin. Now, let me go to first the monthly section. I have been using the monthlies exactly how I have been doing it in the B6 planner, very minimal decor because I wasn't planning on using this planner too much. Like I mentioned this, or if I didn't mention, I mentioned in my planner lineup, this was going to be my nitty gritty mental health feelings, personal, all of that planner when I wanted it to be because I have kind of switched things up. I guess you can say I have been using it like my B6 common planner and jotting down that. I'm not gonna turn to the weekly just yet. My dailies, I have been using for personal only at this point because I'm using this as like, an, like a fun overall thing for the day. So I won't be flipping to the dailies. I have been keeping things very personal in there as of right now. Moving on to the weekly. So my dilemma started when there was an extra week in here, part of 2022, that I was like, you know what? Why don't I try memory planning? The reason I didn't want to in the beginning was because I have so many vertical kits that fit like the Erin Condren, the 1.5 inch wide boxes. But I was thinking, and that's the reason why I didn't want to switch to this for my weekly planning because it did cross my mind like late last year to use this as an overall memory planner. And that's actually where I'm heading now. And then I thought about it, I was like, I can easily trim vertical kits down to fit in my Hobonichi cousin. So I was like, let me try it. Let me try it because I have this extra week in here. I tried it and I loved it. So I used a deluxe deco kit. And as you can see, my boxes fit within the column because I trimmed them all down. So I will show you an example. I wish I had saved this kit, but I didn't. So I could show you what I did, but I'll just show you kind of a gist of what I did. This is a Hobonichi Cousin kit. So the boxes do fit, but I took my vertical kit, took my ruler, put gave myself a little gap right here of the box, grabbed my little X-Acto knife, slit here, and I went down everywhere that had a 1.5 inch box and I just cut down the paper. So if I had like a row of uh, like half boxes, I just used my ruler and sliced them down so it would fit. And that is what I did to pretty much all of the pages that had the 1.5 inches box, 1.5 inch boxes on the vertical kit and just sliced away. You can't even tell. I left the sidebar 1.5 inches because it fit. This is how it turned out. This is my memory spread and I love it. A few things that I do love about the Hobonichi Cousin as far as the weekly goes. The days go pretty, pretty much from top to bottom. Everything is grid. Whereas Erin Condren, the bottom has those lines and I feel like I wouldn't want to plan within those lines. I know I could cover it with a box or whatever, but it's just a change from like no line section, no line, no line, and then the line section on the bottom. So I could easily use the entire space. But I just feel with the difference between the no lines and then the lines in the Erin Condren, I don't, I don't want to do that. Second, grid. I absolutely love love, love, love grid paper. It just makes everything more straight, more seamless. You can line things up. It's so much easier with grid. I don't like lined paper. I like grid paper and the fact that there's grid in here is a huge plus for me. Next is I feel like I have more space because of 
the top to bottom everything is just the grid portion i did only choose to use one washi at the bottom though instead of using the double which i do actually prefer and like the other thing that i like about this is because like i mentioned grid from top to bottom i have more room so i feel like not only do i write down what i did for the day but i can also elaborate on the things that i did for the day which i can very well do in my erin condren i just have to write a bit smaller and i have to try to write straight where in here i have more space so for example in i wrote lani kai juice acai bowl if i were to write that in my erin condren i probably would have ended up just writing lani kai juice for here I put plate outside, JDR, scooter around the blocks. Whereas in my Erin Condren, I pretty, I think I just wrote that we played outside. Here I could put that the kids went around the block. Over here, finished DVDs, took down shelf, decluttered or organized hallway closet. In my Erin Condren, I think I just put like organize and declutter and I just made it very simple. My printer had broke this day. So in this box, I was able to fit so much printer broke, then server error and USB problems. And then Geek Squad came to help. Whereas in my Erin Condren, I probably just wrote like printer issues or something like that or irritated with printer. So I feel like here I can just really journal a little bit more in depth about what actually happened for each little snippet. I mean, some are just super simple but if i want to elaborate i do have the space for it for my planning style i do like writing on paper writing on a box paper box paper box for the most part i can still do that in here no problem that's my style through any planner erin condren even my a6 rings i do prefer i mean sometimes i'll will i will do writing and writing but i do prefer box writing box writing box writing so it kind of separates each little thing that i want to write about i had a feeling that if i were to keep up with this it would get pretty bulky and i don't know how writing would be with the bulk i don't plan on decorating okay maybe i might decorate a little bit more now that i think i'm going to dive into this 100 percent i do plan on decorating maybe the monthly just a little bit more but i think majority of the bulk will be in the weekly section because even in my daily section i don't don't think i plan on doing too much deco maybe here and there i haven't fully decided yet for the most part i think it's just going to be pen and paper which will keep a lot of the bulk out of here and just the bulk in the weekly section and i am turning my daily section into the everything journal so not just what happened for the day but the feelings for the day also will be in my daily section and that being said that this planner would eliminate my Erin Condren memory planner as well as the planner that I was so excited to have and use for journaling it eliminates this one also like I mentioned I just bought this b6 planner I had just bought two covers while they were oopsies they were still on the more expensive side and now I won't be able to use them I have a thought for this we'll get into that in a minute but I think that's where I'm going. I've mentioned the money issue. I haven't quite gotten to the point of letting the other two go, which I wouldn't like let them go. I already have an idea for my B6, but this planner can do it all. And in the lines of simplifying everything, why have three planners when I can have one and really simplify? It's almost like that's my word of 2023 is simplify, but I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. I am Bella. Bella. Bella gets very lonely and when there's like a quiet house she I think she meows during the day when nobody's here also but when she feels like alone she'll like meow throughout the house until she can find the person that is home if there is somebody home and now she's sitting behind me now that she found out somebody is home that is all of my thoughts I just wanted to talk through my dilemma in case you're having a dilemma trying to figure out what you truly want to use for 2023 I mean who knows things could change for me but I think I will be extremely happy just using this planner oh wait i didn't even talk about this i'm just okay anyways so what i was gonna say after this whole like weekly debate was or the bulk debate was well here's the current week isn't it looking pretty cute i thought that if using a weekly kit every single week it might bulk it up even more so i was thinking i have a lot of deco stickers also so i was thinking of alternating a kit and deco stickers so this is the current week like i said it's currently thursday i've been keeping up so i thought of alternating a kit and deco stickers and just kind of making my own spread and then because i have so many stickers i was able to pull stickers that match the colors of this the deco stickers and i also love how this week is turning out come kind of completely different from this week 
but I feel like I can just be a little bit more creative in this space. I really love how this week is turning out. I even sprinkled in some foil stickers in between the empty spots and I feel like this would be a good way to use deco. Sometimes I'll use deco in place of a full box so I could even do that but I also love this spread and how it's turning out. That's what I was supposed to talk about after the whole bulk situation was changing up the types of kits or non-kits that I end up using. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't know when I will jump back into plan with me videos or memory spread plan with me's, but I'm 90% sure it'll be in my Hobonichi cousin, not in my Erin Condren. The fact that this planner could really take the place of these two is makes my brain not hurt as much because I, like I said, I'm just trying to simplify everything that I'm doing. So let me put that away because I'm done talking about that. As for the Erin Condren, I have no idea what I am going to use it for. Well, I still do need it because I test out the monthly kits in here. Maybe I can do some mock spreads with kits to post some pictures. I haven't done that in a long time. So maybe I can do that in my Erin Condren so it doesn't completely go to waste. I can use it for product photos. Yeah, I can use it for product photos and that will be completely fine. As for the B6 Common Planner, I was just thinking that it was just going to end up on a shelf. What I'm thinking of doing is making it like a kid memory planner let me just turn to a random daily page so it is numbered so i will i would still use it each day this is something that i wish i had started a long time ago for my kids if i had ever thought about it which i probably wouldn't have but i have seen people do it now it's just like every day jot a little something about their kids whether they had a milestone or something happened to them or you know they accomplished something or maybe they're just being super naughty that day or maybe they said something. I wish I had done that a long time ago. So if you have young kids, I would highly suggest doing something like that. I feel like that would be something cool to look back on, not only for you, but maybe for your kids to see what they were doing each day or what they did that day. Or maybe they said something silly or maybe they said something naughty. As for this one, like I said, I think I'll just use the daily pages as something for my kids. So I, can, I have three kids. I can split it down into three different sections and actually there's dots here so you can do it into a four grid so maybe i'll do that and then do maybe something for me maybe something that i went through for the day but that's how i think i'm going to use this planner so it does not go to waste so technically i would still be using this planner i don't know just yet i don't think i'll use the weeklies and the dailies or the weeklies and the monthlies in here maybe just the dailies but if you are looking for if the a5 is way too big for you i well i don't think this is available but put this as a note for when she does do 2024 planners this again is from sterling inc if you think the b size if the a if the cousin is too big this b6 common planner the layout is pretty much exactly the same as the a5 so you can Make a note for yourself that B6 Common Planner from Sterling Inc. can be on your list for next year. I think she has an undated pre-sale going on. I don't know when that's going to end though, but I am a little bit sad, but I think I can use this planner. Yeah, that is that. That is my planner dilemma. Pulling into this because I did add one thing to this planner. I am officially going to eliminate this now because a little planner came in so this was my pre-planning section i just had these inserts from your paper and line co in here to pre-plan and my plan was to only keep a few months in here or a month or two at a time because i didn't want too much bulk but i needed something else that had the full entire year i have my monthly section but i don't like to decorate that until like the month is here and i don't like to jot anything down i can put a post-it note for each day but sometimes the post-it notes leave like sticky residue and then i get irritated what i did was i purchased this tiny little thing it is so cute so this is the hobonichi a6 weekly supplement planner and this is supposed to go in conjunction with your a6 techo 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 planner and it's just strictly weekly and i don't know this little thing is so adorable so i have used the tabs from the coffee monsters code to map or mark the beginning of each month which is a weekly i will show you what it looks like it does has a year at a glance and it is strictly just a little mini weekly section it is adorable so here i can really pre-plan anything throughout the year i've started uh slightly 
but I am just using a ballpoint pen in here because I don't want to worry about like a bunch of transfer. I mean, it just does transfer when I write on the back side, but I'm just using the RSV pen, which I should probably keep in here. And I'm just writing down what or any future plans. I have, like I said, all of the tabs where I can just flip to the month that I need. Makes it super easy to pre-plan for the entire year instead of just a month at a time. I tend to forget things when it comes to that. So, and I can even pre-plan my week if I wanted to before I go in with my weekly inserts that's in here, which I have kind of done for this week. It actually just came in yesterday. So I kind of just did jot down things for the week, but I just love this. I went back to my 90s kid self and made a paper bookmark because if you can see it is this green color it's not my favorite but I might put some stickers on here but if you're a 90s kid do you remember making these paper or you used a paper bag we used a paper bag that places used to give up we would always use a Safeway bag and make book covers for your textbooks that you had to have and they had to be covered so yeah took it back to my 90s self I just used some scrapbook paper to make the cover like I said I, I might put some stickers I won't decorate the back though because I just simply uh, slip it into here I can take it out as needed I just make sure that I keep it away from the pen loop to not damage the tabs and when I close it look how cute it looks just sticking out with all the little tabs back there and I'm really happy with this instead of my little pre-planning section it is absolutely adorable this thing is so cute and that is just a little update on my a6 rings that was just a little change that i did there and i am extremely happy with that little change so that's nice that was a lot of talking but i just wanted to give you an update on my planner even though it's only five days into 2023 and i've already pretty much changed my entire system but I really do think, like I said, simplify everything. Simplify not only with planners, but my house as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with my decision. So until I fully commit to this one, you will be seeing weekly memory spreads in here. But that's about it. I'm not going to be sharing anything else in here because everything else will just be very personal. And I am excited. I'm excited to fully dive in. I think I might finish out this first week in all three planners and then jumping in. It cut me off, which means I was talking for 27 minutes straight. What was I saying before it just so really cut me off? Oh, finishing out this week in all three planners and then next week jumping into my cousin. That is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video hearing me talk about, I don't know, just a planner, planner dilemma right now if you're going through one. I hope this video helped you to think about the things that you truly want from your planner by hearing me talk about what I think I need and want from my planner or journal. I hope that opened like got your brain going if you're in a dilemma also. But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you always so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.